Hey guys, for today's mobility challenge, we're going to be talking through what we call daily joint rotations. Uh, we prescribe these to a lot of people we work with and very much a daily practice I've been doing for several years now. Uh, and the, the premise of this is taking each joint through its full range of motion. So tracing these big circles and this helps with, can help with pain, joint tightness, muscular tightness, and can help with just overall healing of joints and muscles, of getting some good movement through those. Uh, you'll find with these how much you probably don't move certain joints or probably don't move things throughout their full range of motion on a daily basis. And this just helps keep joints healthy for years to come. So the challenge for today is hitting 10 circles for each of these joints, each side. We'll talk you guys through what that looks like here. So for the first one, we're gonna start from the neck, so you're gonna clasp your hands behind the back, squeeze those shoulder blades back, and then it's gonna be tracing, so 10 neck circles each side, try and trace through that full range of motion. You might have to start a little smaller with your circles, and then as you get more comfortable with it, you can trace a bigger motion. So smooth motions each way. Pay attention to where you're feeling that tightness. We call, if you're moving away, and you feel pulling on the opposite side, that tends to be more muscular, if you're moving towards it and you feel tightness on the same side, we tend to think that more as joint tightness. Not something you have to do anything with, but you should notice some improvements in that over time and just a good thing to be aware of. So we're not gonna go through a full one at each joint here, but you'll do 10 circles from the neck on each side. Second one, hand clasped behind the head, button belly squeeze tight. Gonna trace, so 10 circles around, this is for our thoracic spine or our mid back. So not trying to move the whole back, so notice how I'm just moving from the upper back and not doing this where the hips are moving with it. So hips stay still, you do that by squeezing your glutes and your stomach tight, and then moving, rotating around this side, same thing, 10 each side. The next one, hands on the hips, 10 circles each side. So for this one, the hips are moving, trying to rotate this one more for the lower back and the pelvis. So 10 each side on that. Again, I'm not gonna take you guys through a full 10 for each of these, but we'll just be talking you through it. Moving back up to the shoulders, 10 shoulder shrugs and circles. So 10 shoulder shrugs forward, nice big circles. 10 shoulder shrugs backwards. Moving to the shoulders, gonna trace, so this big stretch up overhead, thumbs touch together, and then coming out to the side, and then finishing with hands behind the lower back. So hands come up overhead, and then as you come to the side, the palms flip back, and bringing them to your lower back. So up and down is one, 10 of those. You're gonna take the circles, wrap your thumbs around them, 10 wrist circles one way, 10 wrist circles the other way. A Couple more we're gonna move for the lower body, for the hips bringing one leg up, and feel free to hold on to something for balance here. You're gonna trace this circle around with the hip, and then moving this way. So trying to trace a nice big circle, forward back is one, doing 10 each side of those. If you need something for balance, feel free to hold on to something as you move through that full range of motion, paying attention to not seeing a lot of arching at your lower back as you go there. Final one here, so with the ankles, again, hold on to something if you need it for balance. Coming up onto the toes, rolling to the outside, pinky toes, coming back in, and then pushing up through the big toes, rolling out to the pinky toes, and back in. So the motion, moving in and out that way, after you get to 10, you'll reverse the direction, so rolling out and up on the pinky toes, in over the big toes, and then back down. So same thing, 10 circles of each. I know the video takes a little longer to get through, but this is something that shouldn't take you more than five to 10 minutes to do. Uh, once you get the hang of the order of it, and once you get the hang of how to uh, go about it, but you'll notice that if you do this daily, uh, this has a lot, of, uh, a lot of benefit in terms of just overall joint health, how you're feeling. The challenge for today though, 10 circles each side on each of those. So watch the video as you go through it, hit each one of those, and see the difference of how you feel before and after with that. Try it out. As always, let us know if you guys have any questions, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.